Hypertensive emergencies have changed as far as how we treat them over the years. It used to be that we would treat pretty much any hypertension case to try to bring it back down into normal conditions and then we begin to realize that may not have been always the best for the patients. We define hypertension as a systolic blood pressure greater than 140 or a diastolic greater than, than 90. And remember that the systolic pressure is the strength of the contraction of the left ventricle and then diastolic is um, <clears throat> the pressure remaining in the arteries when the ventricle is at rest. Uh, so that's also could be considered um, how constricted or dilated the blood vessels are, the arteries are. Um, <clears throat> we don't normally have to worry about blood pressure being up until we get to something called a hypertensive crisis. And that's when we have blood pressures of greater than 180 over 120. And at that point, we have to worry about end organ damage, which is primarily damage to the brain and to the kidneys. Now, people with blood pressures that high will oftentimes have headaches, they'll feel tired or fatigued, maybe some chest discomfort, have some blurred vision, uh, may even have a nosebleed. And if we're seeing blood pressures that high along with signs and symptoms, then it is a bit of a concern. Now, pre-hospitally, we don't need to bring the blood pressure down too quickly unless there are some special reason you should probably contact medical direction before you do that. In general, a lot of times the blood pressure goes up because an organ or part of the body is ischemic and the blood pressure needs to be up that high. So we don't want to bring it down too quickly. If you have somebody as an EMT that has um, a hypertensive crisis and you're worried about that end organ damage, you want to keep the patient as comfortable as you can, try to get them to relax as much as you can, provide oxygen if their saturation is below 94%, and then transport to the hospital. And in general, they're gonna to try to lower the blood pressure over the next hour or so um, to a little bit more manageable level and then see if maybe we can figure out what's going on from there. So there's not a huge rush with it anymore, but when we see blood pressures greater than 180 over 120, along with some of those signs and symptoms like headache and fatigue and chest discomfort, blurred vision, then we might want to take them to the hospital. We should take them to the hospital and get that evaluated.